Okay, so for problem number 58, um, I realize the work is written down there, and I, I would encourage you to do the problem first, then look at the work and see if you get the same answer I got. I'm going to go to um, um, a whiteboard, though, and do it on the whiteboard, and then I'll, then I'll come back to this and make sure you understand that my intent of doing it on the whiteboard is what I would do if I were taking a test and what it would look like if I were taking a test, all right? So I'm going to go to whiteboard. And the first thing I do is I've taken a test. Certainly, um, the problem would be written down for me. I want to write it down again. And the problem is, um, this is number 58 again. And it's an integration, an indefinite integral. I see x squared, and then I see times the sine of 3x dx. All right? Then if I were looking at this, again, certainly I look at this and I'd say probably integration by parts. And just kind of looking at it. <coughs> I'm going to do it step by step. I'm going to say u equals x squared. And this is going to force me to say that dv is equal to sine of 3x dx. Now, the u equals x squared is an easy differentiation. What do I get? I get du equals 2x dx. Now, the dv uh, dx thing um, is an integration problem. And we're not going to worry about the constant of integration until the very end of the problem. So say V equal, well then, you know, what's the antiderivative of a sine would be minus cosine. This is 3x. And sure, if I differentiate that, I got to take care of the 3, so over 3. Right? Let's write this down. And I want to remind you what we're doing over here. We're doing U dV equals UV minus V du. All right? Let's write this down. So what do you get? You get minus x squared cosine of 3x over 3. Let's see what we get now. Minus, well, what's the v? The v was, oh, that's minus cosine, so I'm going to put this plus then. I'm going to pull the third out on the outside, and I get cosine of 3x. I just did this part, and then I put this part down. And it's going to be 2x, and it's going to be dx. All right? I'm going to cross this out lightly. In other words, I, I would certainly want the grader to see this over here, but I'm just going to cross this out lightly like this. In other words, I'm done looking at that. And what I want to do is I want to continue. So what do I got this over here? I got this now, x squared sine 3x dx equals minus x squared cosine 3x over 3 plus 2 thirds. Certainly, the integration's gotten easier. I did have a square, now I get a linear uh, factor, which is going to make it a little bit easier for me to deal with. All right, what am I going to do now? I'm going to do uh, integration with parts again. And so you know, the reason I lightly cross one above is I don't want to confuse the u's now. So let's write this down. I'm going to say u equals x, and then the dv would equal cosine 3x dx. All right, what do you get there? Let's take a look. Du, that's pretty simple, it's dx. The v would equal, let's see, sine of 3x over 3. All right, let's keep going. And again, I'm going to write this down again, and I'll put an equal sign here. I'm going to go over here now. And I'll write this down. So minus x squared cosine 3x over 3 plus two-thirds. And now what I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing this business over here now. All right? So what do you get? You get, uh, let's see, uv, which is going to be x sine 3x over 3, and then minus, let's see, we need the v, and that's going to be sine 3x over 3, plus uh, let's see. Let me close that out. And then, oh, do look at that, just dx. So I'm going to get my eraser out. And the reason for that is I'm going to simplify a little tiny bit. And let me just get rid of this. I can put the third in the outside now. Well, things are getting a little bit easier. I want to keep moving through it. We'll check the key once I'm done. This is going to be what? Two ninths. And that's going to be x 
sine 3x. Well, this is going to be minus 2 ninths. And then the antiderivative of sine, well, it's going to be minus cosine, right? So put this over here, over 3. Well, if I have a 3 in the bottom now, that's going to be 27. I'm going to get my eraser out again. I'm going to put 27 down. And then C. This is my final answer. There's not much I can do about that. And what I would recommend to do is look at the answer key now. And that's key is provided for, for a reason, by the way. Do I see this over here? Let me take a look. I do see that as the first term, you know, minus x squared cosine three x over three. Do I see this as a second term? Let me take a look. I see two x sine three x over nine. I do see that. Do I see this as my third term? Plus two cosine three x over 27. And yep, and we're good to go to the next question. Thank you.